Hey, welcome back to Blue Ridge Homestead. Hey, come with us today. We're going to make us a uh, water hole for the deer and other wildlife. And it's just an option on how we do it with no equipment, just a shovel and some uh, elbow grease, sweat equity. So my water hole went dry from my, from my deer out here. And uh, we're going to see what we can't do about fixing that. All right, so I've cleaned up the outside edge of it, made it probably, I don't know, 10 inches wider on each side. I've got the dirt stacked around it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this with a heavy duty tarp, but first I'm gonna go around it. I'm gonna dig the bottom out deeper and take this dirt and around the edge, any low spots, like you, know, you can't see this probably, but this is a low spot. And basically what I'll do is I'll set that right on the edge, build that up, and my tarp will set on top of that on the edge, and then I'll put the big clumps on top of the tarp, which ought to make this about two foot deep. So come back when I have more. All right, I got it dug out where I needed it to. I had to dig out the center to uh, get some dirt that was soft enough to put on the edges and uh, fill in the low spots around the edge. So I dug out the center to get some uh, dirt that was soft enough to fill in these low spots around the edges. I left a little, little bit of a spillway right there so it would spill over into that ditch if it was to overflow um it's probably 20 inches deep in the center and then like i said i'll put that tarp on it take these big clumps and sit on top of it which eventually will raise it up even higher once that mud seals to that tarp so i'm gonna put that tarp in there and come back So on this tarp, it's reversible. You've got one side that's shiny spaceship silver and would probably scare everything in the woods for quite some time. So I will be using the other side, which is black. And that side will be up. So after the tarp is on, I've put some, some dirt clods on the top of it here just to kind of weigh it down all the way around it. The uh, water will fill this up. A little bit of dirt ain't gonna hurt nothing. And as that water fills it up, it'll pull it down in the hole and stretch it like it needs to be. So here we have the finished product. Um, I had some old firewood I'd cut, so I went around this bank on this side, put some over there, and a little bit over here. Just nothing else, and I like it. Be a pretty nice little water hole. Whenever it gets filled up, it's about 18, 18 20 inches deep. So that'll be good. I think it'll serve them well for a while. Done this before, the tarps like that usually get, eh, I would say four to five years out of them before they start getting holes in them. Too big, but it's an option. Try it out. Lewis and Sally Blue Ridge Homestead saying come grow with us. We're on Instagram, we're on YouTube, and we are on Facebook.